The FAA announced today Israel's biggest airport is yet again off limits to U.S. airliners. They extended a 24-hour ban put in place after a rocket landed near Tel Aviv's airport. This and the Malaysia Airlines crash having a big impact on travel. Greer Sanders was already on edge about her upcoming trip to Europe. The events of the last week didn't help. We were both nervous because this is my first time traveling out of the country by myself. And so immediately after that happens, it's like, oh, God. After the crash of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 and the Middle East conflict, many international passengers are changing their minds. The Lufthansa flight carrying Greer to Frankfurt departed Dulles this afternoon with half the plane empty. Travel agent Kurt Kraul says the fallout from the Malaysia Airlines crash isn't the reason for the drop off. But Israel certainly has. Um, both corporate and leisure dropped um, completely, practically overnight. He says large groups have canceled trips to the Middle East planned for much later in the year. And in the near future, it appears few will get to fly to that region. The FAA extended its travel ban for Tel Aviv for 24 more hours, and several other European carriers have canceled flights well into the weekend. Compared to 1,500 flights we have every day, so 10 flights is not really a lot. But of course, for, for our customers to and from Israel, it's a major decision. By the way, the Israeli airline, El Al, announced today it is adding some flights to try to help accommodate passengers on those canceled flights.